Find y in terms of x. Okay. Perfect. So let me call y a function of, a function f of x. Then dy dx is nothing but the derivative, right? Okay. And therefore, we have um. Uh, this this particular equation can be written this way x prime of x equals 8 times 2x minus 3 to the cube this particular piece of information is nothing but this and this requirement is uh, asking you to find you see I am transforming each of these sentences into their equivalent. No, well, now you can see that it's basically the same problem as as before, as the first one, right? So, if you know the, the if you know the derivative of the function f and you want to get the function f, then you need to anti-differentiate. f of x will be equal to the antiderivative of its derivative, which is this. Okay, so let's proceed. The, the antiderivative will be equal to 8 times this antiderivative. Okay, and for simplicity, I will just go ahead and write the solution to this antiderivative once you do it by the method of substitution. You're going to get 8 that multiplies. Um, it's going to be 2x minus 3 to the 4 over 4 times, uh, it's going to be 2, no, it's going to be 1 half, I'm sorry, times 1 half. That's going to be the whole solution, right? Okay, so you can simplify a little more. You have 8, and then you multiply these two fractions, you will get this. And then you can get this. So that's gonna be that's gonna be f of x, and obviously with with the concept of integration plus c. Okay, perfect. Now once again, how do I find that constant of integration so that f can be completely de de determined? I make use of it, this information. I evaluate the function in two which is nothing but this. And I make it equal to 6. So let's see. You have 4 minus 3, 1, to the 4 plus c equals 6. And that means that 1 plus c equals 6. And that means that c equals 5. So the, the final answer is that the function f is going to be 2x minus 3 to the 4 plus 5 because c is 5. There you go. So that's it.